Billy, go party. She's not party. She doesn't need to party right now. It's the Poodle Mom again with the two toy poodles. For this video, we've been getting a lot of requests regarding how I potty train the girls. So we're going to be showing you how I potty train them. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And for those who haven't, if you want to see more videos like this in the near future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Alright, just a quick disclaimer. This is not the only way to potty train your dog. But we're just going to be showing you what worked for us. And for me, this is the most effective way that uh, of potty training. And the cheapest way, not to mention. Alright, so I have here the things that we will be needing. Of course, you're going to need your crate. And then, um, you're going to need newspaper. So, we run out of newspaper. But I, I have here old magazines that are like paper, so that should do. For this video, we're going to be doing it with Bailey. Um, for the girls with potty training, what I actually used is newspaper training. You can easily Google that and you can find a lot of um, videos on it on YouTube. But let me show you how I did it. Alright, so when you get your first puppy, usually you get them at 2 months or 3 months old. It's better to confine them to one area in the house first. You don't let them out all the way. So in my case, um, mom didn't want to mess up the whole house, so I confined them in my room first. Okay, and then I used newspaper training with that. So, since they don't pee inside the room anymore, so let's pretend this is their pee. So if, let's say, you're not going to be able to control the puppy where they're, pee, where, where they're going to pee inside your room. In the beginning, of course. That's a given. Please don't get mad at them when they do that. So let's say they peed here. Doesn't matter wherever. It's usually just a very small amount. So what I do, okay, I'm not gonna shoo the puppy away. Uh, let them do what they want. They don't know what they're doing anyway. And then I basically get a newspaper and then I leave it there. So it will basically suck up the pee and then I will leave it there. I won't clean it up. Because I want the pup to understand the smell of the newspaper associated with her pee. So dogs have um, strong senses of smell, right? So usually the pup will pee wherever it peed the first time. So just leave it there. Right, so it's no guarantee. It's still possible that your pup will pee elsewhere. If they pee, then just get another newspaper and leave it there. So the idea is you want them to associate peeing with the smell of the newspaper. Eventually, the puppy will understand um, and will be where the newspaper smell is. So once they get used to it, and then you can move the newspaper around because they will be where the newspaper is. So once your pups have associated the newspaper with peeing, like I said, you can basically move it anywhere. So in my case, I usually, I place it in one corner of my room and that's her pee area. So once you've established to the pup where they need to go, let's say the newspaper, now you can attach a command to it. So let's just pretend that baby is peeing there, the puppy is peeing there, because they will not be here anymore. Now you can attach the command while they're peeing. Go potty, go potty, or whatever, go pee pee, whatever is your command, until they associate the words to what they're doing. Once your puppy is used to the voice command, you can take it anywhere you want now. You can use the newspaper as a usual guide and to get them familiar even to your garden. So just leave it and then give your voice command go potty. Eventually you can remove the newspaper. And so now here it is. You don't even have to tell them to go potty. They just do it by themselves. Alright, so now we've established where they need to be, right? Now it's important for them to understand when they need to go as well. So in this case, what I did, I crate trained my dogs and I established a schedule using the crate training. So how does that work? 
First of all, you have to understand the schedule of your puppy. So the number of months that you get your pup is actually equivalent to the number of hours that they're able to hold their pee. What do I mean by that? Let's say you get your puppy at two months, then they're gonna be able to hold their pee more or less for two hours. If you get them at three months, three hours, four months, four hours, so on and so forth. All right, another thing to understand is um, when you feed them, after an hour or an hour and a half, they need to go, okay? If they drink, and then after an hour or an hour and a half, they also need to go. You have, you have to understand that kind of schedule so that you'll be able, be able to create a bigger schedule throughout the day to control when they need to go. That will prevent accidents. Okay, so based on that, you're gonna be able to establish a schedule. Let me give you an example of what I did. So let's say you wake up at 6 a.m. So that means by waking up, they go potty right away. And then you feed them. I feed them usually at 6.30 a.m. Right after, I make them go inside the crate. So let's say they finish at 6.45, they go inside the crate again. So I wait one hour, so that's 7.45, they go out to go potty. And then they can play. So that's their morning, more or less. Now for afternoon. So let's say I feed them at 12 noon. And then at 12.15, or depending on how long your pup eats, they go inside the crate. And then after an hour, so that's 1.15, I ask them to go potty. And then they can play again. And then now for dinner. Usually I fed them at around 7 p.m. So they eat. And then they go back inside the crate at 7.15. And then after an hour, at 8.15, they go potty. And then it's up to you if you want to make them play. Usually I make them play so that they don't establish the um, crate as something negative. So they get to play and then I ask them to go potty again before going to the crate at maybe around, let's say, 9.15. And then at 9.30, they go back into the crate to sleep. All right, now you guys have to understand that this is just the morning schedule and you have to establish your own schedule for night um, nighttime, depending on how old your pup is. So let's say they're two months, you have to make a schedule wherein, yes, you have to wake up at night every two hours to make them go potty. So you have to make a sacrifice every month for that. So if they're three months, then every three hours at night, you're gonna have to let them out of the crate and do their business in the newspaper and so on and so forth. We hope that short video gave you an idea of how we did the potty training for the girls. I know it can be quite hard, but you know, you just have to keep at it. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the near future. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and we'll see you again next time. Bye! She doesn't need to right now. If you're new to our channel, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Anyway, if you're new to our channel, welcome.